So I've actually started oil pulling in the morning and I'm using the Thrive Market coconut oil. Stay tuned for the middle of this video. I'm gonna tell you how you can get a jar of this for free. And basically I just take a teaspoon of the oil and then I put it in my mouth. I set my timer for 15 minutes on my phone and as I'm getting ready to take Trevi for a walk, I just do this. I swish it around in my mouth and then I spit it out, brush my teeth and out the door. Back from my walk with Trevi, I actually went to yoga as well and I came home, I had a matcha latte. This was the pumpkin spice one that you can find in the description box below. You guys know how to make my matcha lattes by now if you've been watching these videos. And then the other thing I had, I am such a creature of habit, you guys. I had a small apple and this is a green apple. I like green apples, you guys know that, as well as two slices of my vegan gingerbread loaf. I then spread the gingerbread loaf with some peanut butter. The peanut butter I'm using is Vermont Peanut Butter Company. I put about a tablespoon of peanut butter on each slice. And then I wipe the excess off with a piece of apple. And then I'm sprinkling it with a little bit of hemp seeds for just a little bit more protein. And this is a really light, festive, great, delicious breakfast. For my mid-morning snack, I had some of my dried mango. I've already talked so much about how much I love dried mango. And I also had one of my gingerbread breakfast cookies, which will be up on my blog on Sunday. I'll link it in the description box below. Lunch was another thing of leftovers. I've been using a lot of leftovers lately. This is my 30 minute roasted broccoli chowder, which again, I will link in the description box below. I just heated it up in a small pan, and then I also was gonna have some avocado toast with sauteed kale on top. So I steamed the kale in a little bit of water, and then I added garlic powder, and then I just stirred it together, and that was it. And then I was planning to have some smashed avocado, but look at my horrendous avocado. I hate when that happens. So I switched gears, decided to do hummus toast instead. And then I added on as much of the salvaged avocado as I could, topped it with my sauteed baby kale, and it was so yummy. Oh my gosh, you guys, the garlic, oh, so good. And then here's the soup. So I transferred the soup into my bowl. It was nice and hot. Sprinkled it with hemp seeds and nutritional yeast and done. I honestly wasn't that hungry for a snack in the afternoon, so I just had a few of my favorite crackers, which are from Simple Mills. These are the rosemary ones and a little bit of hummus, and that was all that I needed to tide me over until dinner. And dinner, I ended up having a huge zucchini noodle stir fry with falafel on the side. It was so, so, so good. You guys are gonna love this if you try it at home. So basically what I did is just thinly sliced some Brussels sprouts. You could also use a mandolin slicer or pop them in a food processor if you have one. And then I thinly sliced some kale just into ribbons. And then I had some shiitake mushrooms, which I just cut in half. I wanted them to be a little bit bigger so they had that kind of meaty texture because I wasn't adding another protein. And then basically I just sauteed all of that together. I used a little bit of coconut oil and then I spiralized a small zucchini and I'm using the Inspiralizer, which you guys know is definitely the best spiralizer on the market. I absolutely love it. I will link it in the description box below if you wanna check it out. And then I added the zoodles to the sauteed vegetables, tossed it all together with a little bit of gluten-free tamari and some sriracha sauce. Went a little heavy-handed with sriracha sauce, but I love spicy food, so I was happy with it. And then I just whisked together some tahini, lemon juice, and garlic powder and put this over some falafel that I found at Whole Foods. Okay, you guys, so in the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I'm giving away a free gift 
and that is a let me get it and show you a jar of this amazing coconut oil from Thrive Market so this is virgin unrefined coconut oil which means it's the least processed coconut oil that you can find on the market this one is also USD organic and cold pressed so it is incredible and if you guys don't know about the benefits of coconut oil I want to just quickly talk about why coconut oil is so great and why I love using it in my not only cooking but also my beauty routine so you saw in the beginning of the video that I oil pull and I always use coconut oil so this is great for cleaning the mouth it's antibacterial so it takes some of the bacteria out also helps draw out the toxins and then I also love using coconut oil as a moisturizer for my skin I also add it to my face masks you guys might have seen my honey cinnamon face mask that I posted last week you can check that out in the description box below that uses coconut oil and I also like using coconut oil to remove my makeup at the end of the day so I'm about to go remove my makeup and I'm gonna show you how I do that with coconut oil but it's great because it's totally like harmless on your skin Skin, and it's also really hydrating so this area the skin under your eyes is really thin and it needs to be moisturized properly so that it stays hydrated and coconut oil is a great option it doesn't strip any of the natural oils off your face like some makeup removers do so I love using it as a makeup remover and then you can also of course use coconut oil for cooking and baking I love using it in baking it's solidified at room temperature so it's a great sub for butter and I also of course it melts easily so I use it in a ton of my sauteing and stir frying and things like that so coconut oil is just like a great all-around oil I find that it has more uses than any other oil that I've ever found and it also tastes like coconut and I'm obsessed with coconut so that's great I have to switch arms my arms getting tired if you guys are interested in picking up a free jar of coconut oil all you have to do is click the link that's in the description box below that gives you a free 15 ounce jar of coconut oil so this normally retails at like $18 all you have to do is pay $1.95 in shipping and the coconut oil is yours and then in addition to getting the coconut oil you are also going to be getting a free 30-day membership to Thrive Market you guys know how much I love Thrive Market I've talked about them in numerous of my videos before they're a great place for online shopping for healthy natural foods think of it like a Costco combined with Whole Foods so you get the discounted prices of a Costco but you're getting the products that you would find at Whole Foods and all you have to do is pay a $60 annual membership and you get free access to all of those amazing discounts but Thrive has a ton of great options that are oftentimes cheaper than Amazon so I think the membership is highly worth it I think I saved the $60 the first time I made an order and I've been ordering stuff almost every single month so it's a great option if you want to get discounted healthy products so again free coconut oil description box below you also get a free 30-day membership to thrive so now let's go ahead I'm gonna hop into my bathroom I'm gonna prop you guys up so that you can see how I take off my makeup with coconut oil I'm also gonna be doing a face mask tonight so you can see what face mask I'm using and then I think I'm probably just gonna sit on the couch snugs with Trev and watch some Netflix Okay, so to remove makeup with coconut oil, you use those little cotton pads. I make sure to get organic ones, which I actually get from Thrive Market. And then I just put a little bit of coconut oil on the little pad, and then I just really gently wipe around my eyes. Because again, the skin under your eyes is really thin, so you wanna be gentle. And then the makeup literally just comes right off. You can see the residue on the little pad, works like a charm. And then the mask that I'm using tonight is the charcoal mask from Beauty Counter. This is my favorite face mask of all time. It is amazing. I will link it in the description box below. So you basically just spread it around your face and then when it dries, you can see it literally pulling the toxins out of your pores. Look at that, it's so cool. This mask is amazing. It makes your skin feel so soft and smooth. And then I finished it up with my homemade facial serum, which I shared last week and you can find that link in the description box below. And then to finish off my night, I always have a cup of Egyptian licorice mint tea. It's my absolute favorite. I love the flavor of it, and I always love reading the little quotes that they have on their things. And then I always like to finish it off with some chocolate. These are the I Heart Quinoa Quinoa Chocolate Puffs, and they're basically like malt balls. They're just a nice little sweet treat to end the night with. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video, and don't forget to grab your free coconut oil by clicking the link in the description box below. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.